yes, there was a time in the post-war period where coming out of the army model, there was very much a command and control model in terms of business management. And yes, the uh, owner operator, the, the, the entrepreneur who's also the owner can be a different kind of cat. Um, but I disagree with the notion, and I know Professor Cruz has written on this, that, that that command and control style is the dominant form in the business community today. There is far greater need for multiple stakeholder management, for consensus building, uh, for keeping the war on talent. I mean, Steve Jobs, despite what we're learning about it, managed to keep people. But a lot of people today will lose their best people if they're just a miserable SOB as CEO. If they're not prepared to build an environment within which people are recognized, um, people get to grow, people get to uh, participate in decision making, they don't stay a CEO very long. And let's be clear, the average tenure for a, t a CEO who's not uh, the owner of the, of the company in North America today is less than three years. I really want to agree with Rocco on one thing. There's a bit of a convergence going on. I think the days when a company could be run as a private fiefdom, certainly a publicly traded large corporation, by a tough guy CEO are probably pretty much over. Um, and they face, CEOs now in large companies, I think, face accountability and process demands like they've never faced before. Some can be, when you get them offline, they can be quite colorful about describing how, geez, this sounds like politics. I'm not a politician. I didn't come here to do all this sort of stuff, but that's happening. And at the same time, I think inside government, the days when you had a sort of relaxed, easygoing deputy minister, senior level bureaucrat, who would never look at a spreadsheet and would cheerfully confess to not understanding numbers are over. Uh, they used to exist the, a long time ago, about 20 years ago when I started out working in public policy. You'd find some of those characters. Those days are gone. So the government people have to understand the numbers a little better than they used to and the outcomes. And I think the, the business people are having to learn about process accountability and transparency mm. a lot more. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.